Okay, it's quite late in the evening now. I've just returned back from fencing training and I now need to remove the prosthesis. Um, I've already removed my earrings, so it's my left ear. Um, so yeah, so I find the best way of doing it is to actually grab it at the back, which you can't quite see now. And then, um, you, yeah. And as I pull it, it does hurt a bit because it is glue. You can see how it comes off. And there it is. So you can now see, if I put it a bit further, there's a lot of glue and makeup on here. And if you look at my ear, you can probably see also it looks quite gory at the moment. Um, all of this is pieces of either liquid latex or glue or wax. Now this must be removed and you can also see that ear, how red it is now compared to this ear, which is not red at all. This is my normal ear. Um, and that red was just flaring up from actually pulling all the glue off. Um, that's what I just took out here. That is some wax. Um, if you give me a moment, um, uh, I actually do have a little tool to take it out. I don't have it with my right now, but what I can use, um, in this case, I've got a whole little box, is just a little um, earbud um, and to clean it right I don't know if you can see right out of there I need to get that wax out and try and get this out um, let's see if you can see uh, it is actually quite a quite a lot of stuff coming out um, it is still not clean I'll actually have to you can see as I rub it, and as I rub it, it will go redder and redder and redder. Um, so this is quite painful, um, and it is quite intense to do it. Um, it also tends to go my hair. You can see my hair is actually still quite short. It was um, cut off the, in theater. Um, you can see on top here is a crap load of stuff. So what I found is one of the better ways of getting this off will be a little bit of water. Um, but yeah, and if I don't, you can see uh, all of this. Is this not skin? This is glue. Fine little bits of glue that I must try and get off every single evening. Um, this is all that's it. I'm trying to not get all of this. I know it looks odd, but yeah. So um, this is going to take me, and I need both hands to do this. I can't do it with one hand while talking on the phone. So that is just taking it off, and I'll show you just now how I clean the axle prosthesis. Um, if you can see now, it is quite obviously that I don't have the ear, and it's very <laughs> flamey red. It looks like an elf ear um, compared to this one, which even if I, you can see I'm pulling quite hard, that ear doesn't flame up as much as this one is bright bright dark red um so yes that is taking the ear off okay so this is cleaning the ear that's actually quite a messy job um you can see all of this stuff um this is makeup and wax it's actually quite sticky um you can see if i rub my hands it sticks all over um i'm just going to try and get it off the so yeah this is um the thumbnail you see there that is still damaged from this so this is i must also be very careful that i actually pull latex off and not the ear because you can see all of this stuff coming off um and putting this off on the top of it this is all latex if i don't do that then you can see the joint quite easy it's all over my hands here 
Now what the tricky bit is, there's glue on the inside of this and you can see this is extremely thin. So if I don't work carefully, I'm going to damage the prosthesis. So what I found is if I rub quite, rub quite fit, there you can see these little things that happen. See, that is a glue and all of that must every evening be removed. So as you can see, look at all of that coming out. Um, working it quite a bit. So um, yeah, this is and this is quite tricky because this is right on the inside here. At the top of the ear. If I don't clean it at night, the problem is it's going to have a glue build up and it will damage the prosthesis. And yeah, it won't sit nicely either because then there's suddenly a lot of glue on it and wax and yeah, and it won't stick well. So um, this process probably takes a good between taking it off, cleaning my actual ear, cleaning the prosthesis. We will probably talk at least um 15 minutes every day um or every time i take it off um i try not to take it off more than once a day purely because of how um, painful it is to do so um but it has happened that i went swimming took it off because i can't swim with this here um it is always the best clue so i must take it off and then due to work, I must go and f attend a function. I don't want to put the ear back because I don't want questions about my ear. And then I need to go through the entire process again. So it is not necessarily only once a day. It sometimes can be most of the time. So this is basically clean now. It is fine. So what I do is I have a little box. You can see there's the other one. I do have a second one as a spare. This one is a... The first try is a bit of a darker one, so I don't really wear it. This is a better color. Um, uh, I it now. You can actually see there's quite a marked difference in color. So this is the one I wear. This is the one that we used as a check. Um, but I still have it and I do wear it from time to time. And you can actually see I didn't clean it very really nicely after I wore it um, a while ago. Um, but yeah, so then once it's clean, it goes in a little container where it is stored until the next day.